In the world of the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Cooper harbored deep resentment towards his father, George Cooper. Damn it, George! I told you if you didn't quit drinking, I'd leave you. Well, I guess that makes you a liar, because I'm drunk as hell and you're still here. Sheldon often portrayed George as a neglectful parent, suggesting he was an alcoholic redneck and a cheater. When I opened the door, I saw my father having relations with another woman. But in Young Sheldon, we see a different side of George Cooper, and as the series goes on, we learn maybe Sheldon didn't have the full story. Strange and puzzling man, but at that moment, I never loved him more. So let's explore how Sheldon's perception of his dad was wrong all along in the Big Bang Theory. Perhaps George deserves a second chance for sympathy from the audience, especially considering his tragic end. How come mom's not taking me to school? Because once in a while, your dad wants to spend some time with you. Kids often misinterpret their parents, and Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory was no different. I'm thinking, and there's something I'd like to say. Unless it's an apology, I don't want to hear it. I'm quitting science. Not an apology. Spank him, Dad. Even though little Sheldon was a real prodigy, he was still a typical child in many ways. Shelly, it's just back teen. I didn't even put it on you yet. Young Sheldon, the prequel series, starts with Sheldon at just nine years old, figuring out life in East Texas. And that some people are gonna be intimidated by you because of how smart you are. Or maybe they'll recognize my intellect and make me their leader. Adult Sheldon said his dad was distant and not very smart, but young Sheldon shows us a different George. Realize until years later that my father was only asking questions about lightning and thunder to cheer me up. In fact, he would often pretend to be dumb just to make me feel better. He was the football coach at Medford High School, a hardworking man doing his best for his family. So, Sheldon, me and George are gonna take a little road trip this weekend, see the shuttle launch. Sure, he wasn't perfect, but he wasn't the drunkard Sheldon made him out to be. <laughs> what is that for? Well, and I appreciate my wife. He is often the voice of reason for Sheldon. I may not understand exactly what's going on with you and Dr. Sturgis, but you can't be rude to an adult. What if they're wrong? Doesn't matter. There are plenty of stupid people in the world, but when they're older than you, you gotta show them respect. Though he may struggle with understanding his intellectually gifted son, he's always there for him, sticking up for Sheldon when he needs it. You okay, Mr. Spock? Doing my best, sir. Even when he didn't see it. Sheldon's run into a bit of trouble with your daughter. Well, what kind of trouble? He says she's been beating on him. And you know what? Sheldon really appreciates that about his dad. And about that time, Sheldon caught his dad cheating on his mom. Oh, Helga. As it turned out, the woman George cheated on Mary with was Mary herself, in a wig. The two were just experimenting in the bedroom when Sheldon walked in on them. Are you ready for your surprise? I sure am. Okay. Hello, you handsome American boy. Sadly, George never had a chance to explain himself because the two didn't notice Sheldon at the door. Sure, your wife won't come on. Uh -huh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell And this misunderstanding tainted Sheldon's view of his father for the rest of his life. I never talked to my father but what I saw that day, but from then on, I added extra knocks so people could get their pants on. It's really sad, though. Sheldon never got the chance to revisit his feelings on his father as an adult. George passed away when Sheldon was just 14, leaving him with only childhood memories. Is there anything I can do? Yes, you can build me a time machine so I can go back and tell my younger self to give up because nothing's gonna work out the way he wants. And the Big Bang Theory prequel finally showed us what actually happened on that tragic day. In Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 12, titled A New Home and a Traditional Texas Torture, the Coopers' lives were about to take a turn for the better. You deserve this. I mean, college ball. That's the dream. But fate had other plans. Just one tragic moment turned their lives upside down forever. In a cruel twist of events, George's life was cut short untimely. He had a hard time. He's okay, right? He's gone. Throughout the series, young Sheldon hinted at George's health struggles, but his passing still came as a shock. <clears throat> I 
And it happened just at the time when things finally started to improve. Leading up to his death, George had been making strides in repairing relationships and pursuing new opportunities. Oh, 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 that makes me so happy. Earlier in the year, he was able to properly mend his relationship with Mary and was starting to reestablish his connection with all of his kids. That's when things don't add up. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, that was a good one. Just before his death, he was finally offered a great new job that would allow him to better provide for his family. I'm getting offered a coaching job at Rice. Really? Special teams. More surprisingly, even Meemaw was supportive of it, but tragically, he never got the chance to see it through. George's last words now carry a bittersweet weight. Hey, you want to ride to school? No, I'll take the bus. See you soon. See y'all later. Little did they know that it would be their last time together. And there's a curious detail about George Sr.'s death. In the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon created a family tree to determine any genetically inherited diseases. In this family tree, George's cause of death was referred to as SBL, yet the prequel still didn't answer the question of what it actually means. Small bowel lymphoma and sclerotic bone lesions are the two most commonly used medical acronyms of SBL, which makes Sheldon's chart even more confusing. So, the mystery of SBL remains unresolved, leaving viewers wondering about its meaning. Is it a plot hole or some special code that only Sheldon could decipher? In the end, George wasn't just a stereotype or a memory. He was a dad who tried his best and always protected his children. And closer together in our faith. Amen. It's getting quieter. Despite his mistakes, we now see how deeply he cared for his nearest and dearest. I know you make a lot of sacrifices for us, and you don't get enough credit for that. Thank you. And even though Sheldon might not always see eye to eye with his family. I talk to mom all the time. If she was upset, she would have told me. She was protecting you, you idiot, just like everyone always does. If things were bad, then why didn't you tell me? Because I was protecting you too! There's no denying the bond they share. I'm sorry. Thank you. And it would mean a lot to me to have my big brother at my wedding. I wouldn't miss it. Now that Sheldon's a dad himself, maybe he's starting to see his own father in a different light. What do you think? Share your thoughts with us in the comments.